Today we're going to show you how to use access control lists or ACLs in Linux. Um, ACLs are basically very fine-grained permission sets that you can grant for files and directories um, go beyond the traditional user group other scheme in Linux and Unix. They allow uh, many individual users and many individual groups to have different permissions over any file or directory in the system where ACLs are enabled. So first things first, let's log in. We're going to be using the shell to configure ACLs. So we're going to go to Applications, Accessories, and Terminal. So first let's add some groups. With the group add command, we'll add a group called Teachers. And how about Students also. We manage lots of uh, terminal servers in our environments, LTSP type setups. Um, in schools, so this is a good example for a type of setup like that where there are many, many users using the same file system on a specific server. So we've got our teachers group, we've got our students group. Let's add some users and add those to the groups. Let's say teacher1, and we'll actually put a switch, capital G, teachers, to add them to the additional group teachers. We'll do the same thing with students. We'll call them student1. Let's give them passwords so we can actually get into their accounts. And student1. Okay, we need to enable ACLs which aren't enabled by default in Ubuntu Linux. Uh, different distributions will have that set up differently, so you'll want to check with your fstab file. Now we're going to enable this in Ubuntu, so we're going to edit our fstab file. We're going to go over to our mount time options, and we're going to add ACLs to that. So we'll add a comma, ACL. So when we reboot, it will enable ACLs automatically. Now we don't want to reboot right now because that's not really the thing to do with Linux. We just want to remount our file system. And it's as easy as that. If we look at our mtab file, we'll see the ACLs are enabled. So with that, let's start creating some files and directories. Let's go to our SRV directory, which is kind of a generic shared directory for Linux. Um, let's make a directory structure foo and bar. Now the foo directory will designate for uh, students, kind of a working directory for students, and the bar directory under foo we will designate uh, only for teachers to be able to access. So no, no access for students under the bar directory, but everyone can access the foo directory. Um, let's make some files also. Let's make a public text file. And we'll make another one called secret.txt. save that. Okay, now what we're going to do is take a look at the default normal permissions for everything under here. So here's our food directory. As we see, the others, the others, have read, execute, which uh, means enter into the bar directory. Um, public can be read by default, all this stuff, we really don't want for anyone else to see besides what we specifically designate. So let's take that away. And let's do that recursively. Okay, so if we do that again, now we see that only the root user 
has read write execute permissions for any of this stuff here which is what we want so let's start adding some ACL permissions here so we want teachers to be able to access everything so let's kind of do a recursive um, permission set for that and for that we will use the set FACL command we'll do uh, capital R for recursive setting uh, we want to do uh, default permissions which will make everything um, created in the future also have these same permissions modify we want group teachers read write execute under okay we need to do the same command but without default to uh, modify permissions existing and effective permissions on all existing files and directories for the same thing so we'll do that now what we also want to do is only grant teachers access or I'm sorry we want to grant student access to the foo directory and the public.txt so we'll do set FACL modify and actually default modify group students we write execute to foo we aren't recursing through to the bar directory because that would actually give them permission to do everything inside of that and we also want to modify the foo directory for the effective permissions. We also want to modify public.txt. We don't do uh, default for files because you can't create a file inside of a file or a directory inside of a file, so that makes sense. So we'll do that. And with that, I believe we can go to our student one account and that error makes sense because we didn't specify a home directory with the user add command that's fine let's just start bash to make it look a little more form fitting let's go to SRV and let's take a look as student one we can see foo we can go into foo we can see bar and we can see public.txt. We can take a look at public. But if we try to go into bar, we cannot. We can take a look and we can see that the default group of teachers has read write execute and the effective group teachers has read write execute. So students cannot go into the bar directory. Let's get out a student and let's go to teacher one. Okay, let's go back to SRV. We see foo. We can go to foo. Whoops. We can look at public.txt and we can also enter into bar. And we can see our secret.txt. So with that, hopefully you've gained at least a very basic knowledge of ACLs in Linux. Um, do your own research. Um, take a look at uh, some of the other options that you can use with ACLs. I would love to see comments um, and conversations going on how to uh, use this in other environments. So with that, have a lot of fun.